Hey guys, so if you were to see how ghetto rigged I have this phone right now on my dashboard, you would probably think I was like the biggest um, hot mess. So I just wanted to hop on here and chit chat and try out this, not really a vlog, just chatting from my car, which I seem to enjoy those videos from other YouTubers, just seeing them driving out. I don't know, you're not really even doing anything. They're just kind of just driving in their car. So right now I am headed to Target. My daughter just called me and told me about these meals that, I don't know, they're vegan meals even though I'm not vegan. So, but sometimes I just wanna try out, I just wanna try different stuff. One of them was like a lentils, red beans, chickpeas, and onion. I might be getting the names like completely mixed up on what is exactly in each packet, but she's been on this semi-vegan kick lately and it's definitely not real vegan. She just goes, she goes in, in spurts. And from, for those of you that don't know, my daughter is in the Air Force and she's stationed many states away from me, me being in California, her being in San Antonio, Texas. So we do a whole lot of FaceTiming and just share different things that we both like. She literally turns 21 tomorrow. She's having a pool party today at her apartment and I'm paranoid because we all know what's happening at midnight when she turns 21. Probably, before, I don't know. Yeah, we all know what's happening at midnight. Shot, probably after shot. But, you know, I was there, been there, done that. 21st birthday was definitely a, a big deal to me. And now I'm, I like that we're at the point where we can share different ideas and I can learn things from her and she can learn things from me. So, yeah, she suggested these meals and I'm going to go check them out. Well, they probably have a whole lot of sodium in them, but... They looked good. She, she, she look at other people eating stuff and sometimes you want their food more. So I know during the week when I don't feel like cooking or my husband doesn't feel like cooking because he kind of just learned how to cook meals once he retired. I'm slowly turning on the freeway. Hopefully the phone doesn't shoot, shift over, which it did. Let me readjust and get get back. Okay, that was a close one. So I'm, I'm back, I'm back. I was able to readjust. But yeah, what was I saying? Okay, my husband, yeah, he just learned how to cook and I don't know, I don't wanna turn him into my own personal little slave because he's not he's not working anymore. I don't wanna say, okay, every time I get home, you better have dinner um, ready for me. Even though back in the day, that's what was expected of women. But I, I kinda of wanna let him relax and enjoy retirement. So I saw these meals, I saw these meals and that my daughter was eating and I just said, you know, I'm about to run to Target to see if they have them. I know every state carries different things in their Targets, but I'm about to go see if, I feel like I'm going super, super slow, but I'm not a fast driver, fast driver anyways. So yeah, that's how I'm, someone just passed me too. That's how I'm spending my Sunday. I'm about to run to Target, go on this run really quick. I'll share with you my bag of the day and its contents once I stop and I get settled, but headed to Target, I'm gonna run everything back home. I'm gonna head to the gym probably for about 30, 30, 40 minutes. I used to spend two hours in the gym a few years ago when I was um, stationed here before. And now I just I just can't do that. It's it's not that, that I don't wanna spend two hours in the gym. I just don't feel like it's necessary for me as long as I do the whole 80-20 rule and eat pretty decently during the week and I get some type of exercise in for, I don't know, four to five days a week, I'm pretty happy with the results. I'm not like a bodybuilder, but I'm, I'm content with how everything is looking and, and how my body is at, at this point. It's the best it's gonna get, guys. I'm getting older, getting old. This is the best it's going to get. I just wanna be healthy. So it's not like a, a race to be a bodybuilder and have muscles. I just want to be a nice size, comfortably fit into clothes, and pretty much just, yeah, just comfortably fit into clothes and feel good about myself and know that I'm relatively helpful. I mean, healthy, relatively healthy. Tomorrow's not promised, so I could be the healthiest person today and drop dead tomorrow. We already know that. So, I mean, just acts of God, acts of nature, acts of mother nature, whatever could happen. So it's, it's not really, I wanna be able to still enjoy life and not have too many limitations on what I'm eating and being so overly obsessive, obsessive about working out. So yeah, I'm gonna go in and get at least 30 to 40 minutes in the gym today. Stairs is my thing, but I, I hate running, so I probably won't. I probably do like 15 minutes of stairs or 15 minutes of running, and then maybe like elliptical or something to get to get my time in. So yeah, um, talk to you guys once I find this stuff at Target, if I find it.
I usually park far to avoid carts and to get my steps in. So we're gonna park far away. Okay, so we're here, we're parked far away. I know it's early here because there are literally no carts not in the cart exchange thing. And that's kind of like a big pet peeve of mine. People, if you go grocery shopping, let me turn this crisp brown down. If you go grocery shopping or shopping and they have shopping carts, Please don't be that guy who just leaves the cart by your car. It like it literally only takes a few seconds for you to return the cart to the cart exchange. And if you're watching this and you're offended by me saying that, you know I'm being honest. Like, put the cart back. It only takes a few steps. Like some people are like, oh, I am tired from putting the groceries in the car or putting whatever. You weren't tired of walking around that store, so just put it back. So yeah, let me try to get comfortable really quick and do a what's in my bag. Of course I am carrying my beloved PD35, which I've been loving without the, what is it called? The, what is this called? The base, the base shaper. I've been loving it in the slouchy way, but um, here's a really quick what's in my bag before I head into Target and look for these lentils or whatever I'm looking for. Sorry, I don't have one of those phone things that you put in the car where you can see my face you guys don't want to see my face anyways you want to see what's in the bag so i am carrying this um my little pochette in here and i have this big old bag but i don't have a whole lot of things in here i have my tissue i have my key clay which i am going by chanel on rodeo next week and i said yeah next weekend because i'm going to go to the louis vuitton expedition and while i'm down there i'm going to stop at chanel and see if they will fix this hot mess for me and turn this back into a six ring key holder. So wish me luck. And um, yeah, I'm gonna see what they charge. So everyone keeps telling me that 200 was too much. So I don't know what they were telling me when I was in Seattle, but we're gonna figure this out next week. And I have my clay. I have some chicle, some gum, and I have my coin holder. And that's pretty much it. So, yeah, let's get in Target and see if they have this stuff, guys. Bye. Well, I, well, I definitely spoke too soon. Look how nice it was for this person to leave this cart right in front of people's car. Oh, there's another cart that's not even from Target sitting right there. How sweet. I wanted one of these, but I think you can definitely get one of these a whole lot cheaper than this price right here. I still want one for my living room. In my car, but I definitely like it. I want a plant. I don't know if I have a green thumb though, so. But then I don't like the look of the fake plants either. Like, I know I don't have a green thumb, so maybe I should watch some YouTube videos on how to take care of plants because I really want some greenery in my house, but I, I don't want to kill it either. This target's a hot mess right now, you guys. Messy is, I don't know what, look at this. Like, who does this? And what time is it here? 10.46 and it already looks like this. It's a shame. Okay, let me focus and come here for what I came here for. you more in the car but yeah I'm gonna I came here for these I know you can paint these yourself but I don't have the patience to do stuff like this so these were priced pretty well I think I'm gonna put them in my living room I might show you guys how they look once I put them up but yeah I like these it comes in a two set I have this already at home but I think I want to pick this up too. One of the reasons why you should not come to Target. Yeah, I like this. Hands are nice too, but I feel like I can get these cheaper from Amazon or something. And eventually I want to get the Chanel book and the other Louis Vuitton book and I can use it for that. But yeah, I think I want to get this from Amazon. I don't want to pay 20 bucks for it. So got to get those steps in, right? So I'm about to head back to the cart exchange because I can't not practice what I preach. But, you know, you get about, what, 
I don't know, one, two, three, four, about 15, 20, 30 steps going here and 30 steps going back. And I try to hit my 12,000 steps a day, especially the days that I don't go get to go to the gym. I shouldn't even sound out of breath right now. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and return this and get my steps in. You know, Apple Watches, can you see it? They are addicting, so I'm constantly tracking this, but let me be a good Samaritan and return this cart and then show you guys really quick what I got in the car. So it might sound cheesy, but I once saw on the Kardashians that Kris Jenner tries to get 12,000 steps a day. And whether she really does it or not, I don't care, but I used to shoot for 10,000. But now I was like, okay, well, what's an extra 2,000? I make sure at work, I park super far, I park far away so I can get all the steps in. And when I go to the grocery store, I do the same thing. I try to park far and get in as many steps as possible a day. But I shoot for 12,000 a day. It doesn't always happen, especially if I have a really good workout. As long as I got the workout in, then the 12,000 is not too bad. Like, I don't feel as guilty. Okay, so it's super hot here in Central Valley already. It's been over like 100 um, last week, and I think it's supposed to be over 100 today. It says 82 outside, but I just started the car, so I don't really think it's gonna be 82. But let me show you really quick what I got, and I actually came to Target and got the thing that I wanted to come here and get. So I was successful, but I should have bought those and then headed my butt right out the store. I ended up spending obviously more than what I wanted to spend, but um, I think I'm happy. So here we go, let me flip the camera around. Plant this size right here because I've been begging my husband for a plant lately and he says we don't need it because if we get a big if we get a big plant that we're gonna end up moving and then we're not gonna have a way to transport it because we have technically two more moves left. So he's gonna have to settle for this and I know he's gonna ask me why I got it and I'm probably gonna give him a smart answer, but um, yeah, I'm gonna give him a, a smart answer, but I wanted it and I bought it. The other thing is I eyed this last time, well, maybe like a, a, like a month ago and I didn't get it. It's just a tray for my bathroom. I think I'm gonna put my little um, electric flosser on there and just, to, I don't know, brighten up the decor. I passed it up twice, so I think I was good the last two times. So I, w I, des I deserved it this time and that's why, that's why I got it. And then in the back here, oh, let me reach across. I got this wall art for my living room and my best friend, I put it on my Instagram story and my best friend texted me and said, you know, I got that one too. So I don't know, great minds think alike. I haven't been to his new place, so I seriously didn't know he had them. And then here is what I came for. These Tasty Bites that my daughter was eating. This is what I came for, these Tasty Bites that my daughter was eating. Um, this one is the chickpeas, slow cook with onions, tomatoes, and spices. Nutritional fact on here is like, is let's see here it has two servings 170 calories i would eat half of this with a half a thing of um like i don't know i wouldn't eat that much rice that much rice with it or i'd either, either eat it by itself for dinner that's that one then we have this one with lentils red beans and spices what is that it's hard to do this one hand it does give me a second lentils oh lentils red beans and spices simmered in a creamy tomato sauce and then the last one see i suck at this in the car indian bengal lentils whole lentils simmered in spices or simmered in sauce and aromatic spice herbs and spices and there this one's 160 calories yeah 160 calories nutritional facts are a little bit better but i mean it's not that bad you gotta eat right and the one before it the nutritional facts um facts are 150 calories and then you can see all the other stuff here so this ends my little visit today to target i need to take all this stuff home get yelled at for this get yelled at for this and then pretty much head to the gym yeah my sunday <laughs>